Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. All right, so this is another special request. It's Spider-Man. And I know I get a lot of questions on where do I get my SVGs? Um, can I just share the link? And I would share the link, except that a lot of these SVGs, um, they get taken down. So there's, I can't even find the same designer. Uh, so anyway, you know that I did Spider-Man a long time ago. It's a super popular one. Uh, so she bought a file. Here is the file. And I left it as is because I think a lot of you guys might run into this issue where you see it uploaded, but you don't see it anywhere here. So one of the things that you can um, do is click on the Spider-Man over here in the panel and look at a couple of things. One, look at the width and the height 2084 okay so let's just kick it down a notch to maybe 20. um hit tab the position feature is telling me it's at x 703 so the coordinates are 703 and 281. so let's change those coordinates that means it's on this x-axis you need to go 700 over and almost 300 down before you find this this character. So let's change this to one and one. So we're basically saying, hey, drop this this picture in at one one. Okay, so here's our picture. Um. So yeah, okay. Let's look at what we have. Um, we probably want to do this at 30 inches, right? So let's just change this to 30 and see what we have. All right, so we have Spider-Man here. What I see is uh, white for the eyes. I see, I think this is like the black kind of webbing that goes on top. Here's the red layer and two blue layers for some reason. So let's ungroup it. What I don't see though is a solid black background. So I'm tempted right away to just make a duplicate so we want this height and this width. So let's duplicate it and weld. And this will get us our solid background. Now there's a little cut right here. I would just go to contour and get rid of, actually let's, um, let's hide all the small ones. I don't know about these big ones. All right, so let's close it. All right, so that's still there. Um, that's fine. So here's the two holes right here and one little one there. So let's go to contour and see if I can see it. There it is. So let's click on that, we're good. Okay. Mm, all right, so here's our, our background. We'll just move it to the side. This is, uh, let's ungroup this and see what we have. Okay, so this is the black on top, which it looks like everything is connected. Yeah, everything's connected. So this is a beautiful black. I would definitely do black glitter cardstock. We're going to have to slice this guy up a little bit, but with black glitter cardstock, you're not going to see where it's, um, you won't notice the seams, especially on this if you do, I did red and blue glitter cardstock also. I know it's a boy character, um, <clears throat> but it looked amazing and there was nothing girly about it if that's what you're concerned about. Okay, so, all right, let's move that one over. We know we're just gonna have to slice him, slice that up. <clears throat> now this red is a problem. Um, the way it's designed right now, each one of these pieces they're individual pieces. I don't want to even consider counting that. So we're going to have to do something about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the meantime, okay, so there is, here's our white. Our white is good. Oh, and our blue, our blue is pretty good. It's separated into two pieces. Okay. Um, we could make that a little bit better by actually separating it, but um, I'm almost tempted to leave it as is so that when it cuts on the mat, <clears throat> this will tell you where everything goes. Um, and it ends up being, so this one, you see how it's 11.59 by 7.1? 
technically you can't send this to the Cricut, right? Because it can only cut 11 and a half. But all you need to do is just change this, um, the dimensions a little bit by moving it to the left. And there you go. Now it's 11.3 by 7.9. So this will be one sheet of blue cardstock. <clears throat> Let's try to do the same thing with this. So right now the length is 13.9, but if we switch it over a little bit, let's see. Oh, there, 11 by 11. And it's up to you, we can separate this. Um, I don't mind using two pieces of blue glitter cardstock on this though. All right, so now we have this. Whew, this is crazy. Um, so the good thing is, let's bring back this so we can see what we have here. So everywhere that's not, so we, I'm just racking my brain here. All the empty space is either going to be the blue or the white, and then we have the black. So we don't have to be careful about welding this piece. Um, so with that being said, let's make this bigger so that we can weld more easily. So I'm tempted to do something like this, like for instance, the face. I would weld it all as one piece. So let's do something like this. Let's send this to the back, arrange, send to the back. Okay. I would do something like this. And we have almost all of it. Only this piece is hanging out by itself. So just duplicate that. All right, so now the face, instead of it being a bazillion pieces, the face is one piece. Love it, right? So let's grab this, for instance, and then weld. And so now we have this. And so just in case you don't believe me, <laughs> Let's pull this back over so you can see, okay? And that's going to be our top layer. Oh, I hate when my mouse isn't working. There. So see, now, but how lovely that the face is one piece, right? So you kind of get what we need to do. We need to do that for like all the fingers, the legs. Um, unfortunately, all these pieces are a little bit more difficult um, to do than the face, like quickly. But I would unlock my circle, make it thin, get this very phallic finger out of the way. Um, I would do something like this. All right, and I think that almost gets everything. And even if you miss one piece, one piece is okay, considering this was probably like 300 pieces. All right, so let's grab that weld. So this is together. Let's just continue doing this. Um, let's do this hand. So unlock it. Make it stretch out. And I would just bring it to the front so that you can move it around more easily. Um, So something like that, that gets most of it, but then you still gotta do each of the digits. Um, and the way I would do that is, whew, make it super thin. And if I have any designers following my videos, can you please not do that next time? 
Can you make the red all one beautiful layer? Okay, so let's do this. Weld. And you'll start to see, so this, let's change it back to red. So visually we're good. Um, so you see how the hand is almost all connected. You got to do it for each of the digits. You have to do it for this piece here, here. So, um, just bring in a couple of these. Okay. Let's do it for this finger. And it's totally okay to go a little bit past the red because remember the black is gonna be on here. In fact, you could even do something like this because here, you know what, let me try that. Weld, okay. Do you see how the black is covering it anyway? So you have a little bit of wiggle room to go past the red pieces. Um, but this is actually not a bad one because it connected double, right, <laughs> with one piece. So I like that for sure. It needs to connect this piece and this piece, but um, that's what you need to do for the red. I'm not gonna do it for all of it because it's crazy town but I will show you now how to slice things up. Now, let's look at this blue really quickly. Normally, what I would do is I would separate all these pieces because I wanna save space on my cardstock. So if you wanna do that in this case, what I would do is I would take a square, let's bring it over, make it really big, and I would duplicate this because we're probably gonna use many, many squares on this project. Um, I would probably separate this from this and this. So I would separate this into three pieces basically. So let's isolate the piece that you wanna separate. So I'm gonna move it a little bit like this because I want it to go in like that. So you see this whole knee is in the square and these two pieces are not. So we're slicing it out so that we are separating the knee and these two pieces. So we're gonna slice. <clears throat> and so now this is separated. And that means here, that means when you go to cut this on your mat, you could squeeze it in something like this. You could even separate this piece and this piece and it would probably buy you a lot of space. Um, so let's do that. Right, because then you can be really efficient and um, use up that blue cardstock. Now, do you see how I still have this piece down here, but my mouse is ignoring that. I'm grabbing this blue piece and the square, and that's enough for me to slice. So while there's still a lot of traffic and multiple pieces, if you're really careful with where your mouse picks up, you're totally fine slicing in a lot of traffic. All right, get rid of your uh, slice results. And so you can see like this piece later, if you really want to conserve cardstock, you could put it in his knee like here. And this, you can hug it really close to this, right? So now you still, you can save on this cardstock. You still have this space, so we could ungroup more of this blue and you might be able to fit this in. I mean, you'll definitely, you'll still need two pieces of cardstock, um, but your second piece of cardstock will have a lot of leftover scrap that you can use later. So you can separate that. Um, and I would do the same thing with the eyes. I would separate the eyes because with white glitter cardstock, you might have um, a more funky shape. And so you need to be able to move the two eyes. That's totally fine. So here are your two eyes. Okay. Um, so all that's left is we need to slice this and you're gonna eventually need to slice the red once you once you separate everything. So the red is gonna be very similar to either how we slice this or if you're able to keep the spacing, you can slice it like the way we did the blue, okay? 
up above. Um, so all that's left is the really big slicing. So let's start doing what, what I always do with off the mat. Um, we will do it over here where it's clean space. So let me get all this stuff out. Okay, so let's make our square 11 by 11, okay? Technically, you can do 11 and a half by 11 and a half because that's how much the Cricut can cut. Um, but usually the half inch doesn't save you any paper. And um, we can look to make sure. So this is 23. Um, so I'm tempted to make it. I'm going to move it over a little bit. Okay. And the reason is because I have 11, right? So 11 plus 11 is 22. So that's two columns. And then it's going to be two by three. And in this case, 11 and a half wouldn't have mattered. If I did 11 and a half, it's still two columns and still three rows. But it wasn't if I did it like this because I would have needed, um, I think it was at 23, which would have been 11 and a half plus 11 and a half. <laughs> so anyway, um, all right. So let's move this a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. And that's going to be the same for this guy too. Okay. All right. So we have our 11 by 11, right? So we know we need two rows, two columns, and three rows. So let's put our first one here and go over to our position feature. And we're just going to round to the nearest whole number. So 45.7 becomes 46. 14.4 becomes 14. So we're basically saying your X coordinate is 46. Go across 46, go down 14, and this is the tip of our square. We're gonna duplicate that square, put it right next to the first one, <clears throat> excuse me, and then again, round to the nearest whole number. So 57.1 becomes 57, 14.0 something becomes 14. So now we have two squares flushed with each other. So grab both squares and duplicate that. So now you have a set that's already flushed with each other. We're gonna make it flushed with the top. So drop it in, round to the nearest whole number, 45.8 becomes 46, 25 is already perfect. So there we go, duplicate again. So here is our last, we have two columns of three, right? <clears throat> uh, 45.9 becomes 46, 36.2 becomes 36. You have six perfectly flush squares. Not a lot of people do it this way. And <clears throat> I wholeheartedly disagree because it is much easier to push up four corners to each other when you're piecing it together. Um, <clears throat> this also ensures that there are no gaps or overlays. So, that's why this method is the best. <laughs> oh my, okay. So let's grab Spider-Man. Let's move him over for a second. We know we need another set of this because our blue also needs to be sliced. Our, black back, our background needs to be sliced, right? So let's grab these three, six, and duplicate. So we don't need to do that whole, you know, um, making it flushed and let's slice out this guy. So let's bring that Spider-Man to the front and just make sure that we're slicing him where we want to, that there's no funky pieces hanging out by itself. So this right here, let's see. So I moved it up because then this piece isn't cut off. So this and this, I don't really like that. I'm actually gonna see if I'm gonna move him a little bit more this way. All right, so this is what we have. I would, so that little tip is gonna be by itself because I don't think I can get it. So you could make it more obvious, so let's, so it's gonna cut right here. I don't like that either. All right, how about here? This little piece you're gonna to have to, maybe just not even make it part of the, you know, it might not make it. Um, 
okay so I don't like slicing it off right here so actually I'm going to move this down I want the whole leg to be together all right so this is going to be what it is mm, I'm going to move it over this way to the right because in this top left square is just a little bit right there and I don't think we need that so if we do it like this this square actually has nothing um, all right so let's do this Let's grab this and slice. You can only slice two things at one time. So we're slicing one square and the Spider-Man image, okay? And if slicing is grayed out, then you grab one too many items. So see over here, I'm gonna grab two squares by on purpose, but I'm grabbing the second square and the image and so see slicing is not available. So you just gotta make sure you're grabbing two things only. All right, and then here's our last one. <clears throat> All right, then what I like to do is I move everything over. So this is all connected. It's gonna be a very, very cool piece. Um, I kind of keep it together so that I know where everything goes. All right. Then this we can just grab and delete. All right, so now we have this. I would move these six and I would make it um, to whole numbers. Just so that it's exactly where it should be. I don't know, it's just easier in case you're adjusting something. It's, that's just my thing. <laughs> All right, arrange, send to the front. All right, here we go. And I would say for this guy, yeah, this looks good. So let's let, um, let's move him over so we're not using this square at all. All right. I think we're good. Okay, so same thing. Move everything over. All right, grab this whole thing and delete. All right, so now ev almost everything is done. Let's just look at, so we've got that. Okay, you need to weld this, right? Like continue making all the red into one piece. Um, and then you need to slice it because it'll be big. This whole image is 18.8 .8 by 30. So it will need to be cut into pieces. Um, but now you have all the tools to do that. And then that, that's it. So I'm gonna delete this for a while, for just a second. I'm also gonna delete the red for now, okay? Cause I wanna show you what your make it screen looks like. So let's go to make it. Um, all right, so there's a serious glitch going on right now with design space. Obviously, we know these were two eyes. The second eye is totally cut off. Just move it and then it'll pop back up. I don't know. <laughs> Design space, you're killing me. All right, here's the blue. And I think you might be able to consolidate some of this blue. Yeah. Let's get that arm over here, this hand. Let's click on that, click on the three dots, move object, and let's move it over here. Oh man, don't tell me. What? It won't let me. Darn, it doesn't fit. All right, it needs to go back to its own page. Um. Probably move. Oh, you know what? Sorry, cancel. Hold up. Um, this. I would probably do a black background. It's not going to show because everything's going to sit on top, but it's up to you whether you want to do blue or black. And I'm going to make this gray because I don't want you to use glitter cardstock on something that's going to be wasted. Okay. This should be glitter cardstock. Everything should be glitter cardstock except for the back. Deal, deal. So let's go to make it. 
look at our eyes again. All right, so move that. There we go. All right, so here's our black background. Nothing we can do there. Here's our blue. You could probably shift this around a little bit more. And um, I don't know, maybe it'll fit. Let's see. Move object. Let's see if we can get it over there. Oops. Let's move this this way and see if we can. Um, I don't think so. Move it back to the other page. Sorry, I did it again. All right, here's our red. Oh no, this is our black. I'm tempted to move this. I don't. Let's move this over here. <clears throat> Oh, yes. So here's our black cardstock. And that's it. Okay, so you just have the red left. It's going to look beautiful, I promise. All right. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please just note them. Um, if you have any special requests, I'm totally here. So comment, follow me, let me know what you want to see, and I'll totally help you with your project. All right. Bye, guys.